racket, move your ass down the toilet seat. There are a lot of, I believe that the technical term, there are a lot of wackadoodles in this community. The one, the one, two, the three. I met a bad bitch last night at the D. Let me tell you how I made her leave with me. Conversation and his. I'm not happy with a lot of people right now. See, I've been to the motherfucking mountaintop. Heard motherfuckers talk, seen them drop. If I ain't got a weapon, I'ma pick up a rock. And when I bust your ass, I'm gonna continue to rock. Get your ass on the wall with your two left feet. It's real easy, just follow the beat. Don't let that fine girl pass you by. Look. Um, and because I am a complete and total coward and I don't want to want to open up a battle on multiple fronts, I am not going to name names. So if anybody was expecting me to name names, I'm sorry. If you want your money back, okay. Again, I'm not naming names. If you guys want to make guesses, please don't put it in chat, or put it in chat, I really don't care at this point. Cause I am a complete and total coward. Stop arranging to meet with this man just to impress a bunch of yentas on Reddit or Facebook, or to be able to get on the good side of your favorite YouTube content creator. You know what? Go fuck yourself. Real close, let's stroll like you're about to have a party. Let's get it started. I'm looking for a girl with a body and a sexy strut. Wanna get it poppin', baby, step right Some up. Some girls that act retarded. Some girls are body body. I'm looking for a girl that will do whatever the fuck I say every day. This is a very difficult story to tell, but I believe it needs to be told. And I mean, I need this to make other women aware of the, of the potential um, things that can happen to you if you make the wrong decision after you hear my story. Um, I'm not going to give you my real name, obviously, but you can call me Fern if you want to. Um, I had seen some of uh, Nader's, uh, Nader El Shami, I believe is his name, cooking videos. And he would talk a little bit about Egypt and his back ground and I thought you know those videos were very interesting um all of it his personal stuff and the cooking I'm not very much into watching uh I befriended him a video chat from this guy and at first you know it was all fun and games in the sense of how are you where do you live? What is it like? How do you like doing your video? A bunch of simple chit chat. As the videos went on, he said, when are you coming to Canada? When I got to Canada, um, he, uh, he FaceTimed me again. And I told him that I was there. And he said, I'll call you back. And I'll come and get you. Uh, which he did not do. He let me sleep in the airport all night. And I couldn't find a hotel room because it was too late. Long story short, I rented a car, got a hotel room, got myself set up. And I let him know, you know, I'm here now. We can do whatever and hang out. He said, you're in Gatineau? And I said, yes. Well, <clears throat> I told him where I was at. And uh, he got a taxi. And he came to where I was at, rapped on the door of my room. And the minute he came into the room, he grabbed me, uh, told, and started taking my clothes off. And long story short, assaulted me. 
Uh, afterwards, uh, he got up, changed it, you know, put his clothes back on, took a shot of alcohol, and left. During this whole interlude, he was completely oh, dead, if you will. He was hedonistic. He was oh, just, it was all about what he wanted. He had shark looking in his eyes. He showed no emotion whatsoever. I believe he enjoyed what he was doing. And he had no care for me at all. He just wanted to do what he wanted to do to me. And he left. After that, I sent him a message asking him why the hell did the things that happened happen. And in typical later fashion, he was trying to say, what are you talking about? Nothing happened. It's all in your head. Blah, 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 blah. And I told him, that's not my head. What you did was wrong. And that I was going to go checked out, get checked out for um, any kind of STDs, and that I was going to file charges against him. And uh, the next thing I know, my phone is blowing up with video chat after video chat after video chat after video chat. And I never answered the phone once. And then he asked me, why are you playing games? Why are you this? Why are you that? Calling me an old lady who just wants a piece of young, young, uh, young person and a whole bunch of degrading things. And up until Friday, today is Sunday, he kept video chatting or trying to get me to answer video chat or video video or phone. And I would not do it. And he kept saying horrible things to me. And then he told me never to uh, speak to him again on uh, Messenger. And I said, don't worry about it. The next time you hear anything, it'll be from my attorney. All I wanted to do is get the hell out of Canada. And my flight was like <laughs> the next day. And that's what I did. I just got the hell out of there. I didn't know if he was going to come back or what he was going to do. So once I got back to the States is when I got tested. And I haven't got a phone call yet about any of the results. And um, I've talked to uh, more than one agency down here. Police and different other agencies, and contacted an attorney and <laughs> seeing if I can make anything out of this. Anyways, the main reason I want to tell this story is this man is absolutely <sighs> hedonistic. He is. He's a narcissistic sociopath. He has no feeling love or anything for anybody. And he will do anything he wants to do to anybody. Because that's the way his sick mind works. So I'm going to do what I need to do on my end. And I'm making this video or this chat video, whatever, out there. Because I can't take it anymore. I've gone through horrible depression, rage, anger, every emotion you can imagine. And I just don't want anybody else who's impressionable to uh, answer his calls, meet up with him, any of those kind of things, because I don't want anybody to get hurt like I did. And that's my main message. Whatever happens to me, happens to me. But I don't want it to happen to anybody else. And I honestly God, don't know what else to say. Other than I can't wait 
So this is somewhat over, but I will always carry the scar of what happened. And please take care of yourselves and do the right thing. Thank you.